Today's forecast, 100% chance of awesome new Hux components. Ever wished your Home Assistant dashboard could tell you the weather and look also amazing? In this video, I'll show you three add-ons that do just that. We will have weather sense, weather data you can actually use, metogram card, a clean, pro-looking forecast chart, and for the end, compact light card, smart light control without clutter. Grab your umbrella or your sunglasses and let's dive in in a couple of seconds. First component we are installing today is called HA Weather Sense. This component takes existing entities, for example, temperature and humidity, which are mandatory entities. Then if you already have access to, for example, pressure, wind speed, and also the solar radiation, you can also use those entities to create a new entity that will tell you how the air is feeling either inside or outside of your home. In this example, I have two entities. One is for the indoor and the other one is for the outdoor values. We also have option to use attributes. So, for example, for the outdoor, it currently says strong heat stress because the real feel feels like 36.5 degrees centigrade. And for the indoor, it just say warm. This is a short description from the attribute because indoor feels like is 26.2 degrees centigrade. The awesome thing about this integration is, as I said, you not only have the basic value, for example, the state of the temperature sensor, but you also have attributes that you can use inside your home assistant automations. For example, comfort level, is it warm or is it comfortable, true or false. These can be triggers for your existing automations or scripts. Let's proceed with the installation. First of all, if you do install this component, don't forget to hit the star to say thanks to the author. For the installation, let's go down. This component is still not officially part of the hex, so what we will need to do is either press this button to be transported to Home Assistant, or copy this link, this one here, and then inside Home Assistant, click on three dots, custom repositories, paste the URL, and select integration as type. Click on add, it should be automatically added, close it and type in sense for the weather sense or home assistant weather sense click on it click on download download and since this is an integration we will need to restart our home assistant while home assistant is restarting let's go back to the documentation and check what we need to do for the configuration there are some prerequisites but most of them you should already have in your home assistant setup for the configuration we will need a couple of entities inside our system some of them you probably already have, others you can outsource from the external services, while others they are optional and if you have access to them you can use, but they are not mandatory. We will need the temperature sensor and humidity sensor. You can create multiple integrations or you can create multiple entities or sensors out of this integration. For example, one can be indoor and the other one can be outdoor. Of course, for that you need to have indoor temperature and humidity and or outdoor temperature and humidity. I do have both of them, so we will be creating first indoor and then we will try to create outdoor one with additional sensors such as wind, pressure and unfortunately I do not have solar radiation. Home Assistant is restarting, so let's go to Settings, Integrations, click on Add Integration and type in Sense for Weather Sense. Okay. If you want to create only one sensor, for example, the indoor sensor, you can leave this as feels like temperature. But since we will be creating multiple, I will add indoor, feels like temperature. Then we will need to select all of the entities. And this is what it looks. The sensor name is indoor, we have temperature and humidity, we do not have indoor wind sensor, so no wind. For the pressure, if you have sensor that has it, you can use that one, but unfortunately I do not have, and I also do not have solar radiation. This is not outdoor conditions and I want to display everything in Celsius. Click on Submit. Select an area, dining room, finish. We now have one sensor, indoor feels like 26.2. Comfort level is warm, comfort description is moderate heat stress, explanation is caution, fatigue possible with prolonged exposure. Calculation method is indoor, then we have temperature, humidity, not an outdoor sensor, date and time, 
is it comfortable, attribute, and also temperature and humidity. These can be used, for example, for your automations. If this is comfortable, let's say true, then, for example, you can turn off your AC. If it changes to false, then you can have automatic change in temperature of the AC or something similar. So, this is awesome if you want to automate your home, not just based on the values, for example, 22 degrees centigrade or whatever Fahrenheit, instead of that, use the comfortable feeling. Is it feeling good or not? Let's go back to weather sense and let's add entity for the outdoor sensor. The sensor is configured, we have outdoor fields like temperature, with outdoor temperature, outdoor humidity, wind speed, I do not have pressure sensor, nor do I have solar radiation. These are outdoor conditions and the temperature is displayed in Celsius. Click on submit and finish. Comfort level is hot, strong heat stress, extreme caution, heat exhaustion possible, calculation method is Tedman apparent temperature. This is the temperature, humidity, outdoor, comfortable not, degree centigrade, humidity is percentage, wind speed and the wind unit. That's it. But as I said, the values are great, the descriptions are awesome, but these are the values that you can then add to your home assistant inside automations or scripts. Or you can of course add them to UI, click on plus, for example, tile, feels like, add indoor temperature, for the features, we can, for example, add trend graph, which we do not still have because, yes, this is a new entity. A layout can be full and same can be done for the outdoor sensor. Feature, once again, let's add trend graph. Layout, extend this and click on save. Now, inside the UI, you can have the values, but you can also, for example, pull attributes, such as, for example, like this. For example, use comfort level, description or something similar. And yes, even those can be pulled inside the UI of Home Assistant. Remember, if you do end up installing this component, don't forget to give it a star so that the author knows that this is really an awesome component and that people are using and loving it. The next card we are installing today is this awesome weather card, Metogram. It allows that at a glance you see the weather forecast cloud coverage, temperature, pressure, rain, snow, if any, for a couple of days in advance. And best of all is that, for example, if your home assistant doesn't have all the data, it can automatically or automatically go to met.no and via the API, based on your longitude and latitude, pull the data for your location. In this case, we see we have partially cloudy, then we have cloudy, then the clear night with the moon, then the clear morning, again partially cloudy, cloudy, information about the temperature, pressure, wind, for the next 48 hours. Everything is customizable, you can have more icons, less icons, you can enable or disable some of the entities and create your perfect metagram for Home Assistant. Let's proceed with the installation, but as always, if you do find this integration or card interesting, don't forget to give it a star to say thanks to the author. How does the installation look? We actually do not need to do anything, this should be part of the Home Assistant Hex Store. Inside Hex, type in Meta. For the Lovelace Metagram card, click on it, click on Download. The version 2.1.0 is the latest version at the time of the recording. Download. And since this is a card, we just need to reload. Then go to Overview, select where you want to add the card, for example here, click on Pencil, and let's edit here. Select Metagram card. And then what we can do is we can use the predefined values. Okay, let's talk about configuration options. And for that, I'll switch to Show Code Editor. If you have coordinates for your home assistant as longitude and latitude, such as these ones here, leave it as is. This means that the card will go to mat.no and via the APA pull as much values as it can. If you do not want to use that and you want to use values that you already have inside your home assistant and remember that some may be lacking, then you can go to show code editor, add entity ID and for example type in weather dot home. Then the card will not be using your longitude and latitude for home assistant 
and will not independently go to map.no to pull values, instead it will be using your internal Hobos integration. I'll remove that. So we have option to select or disable or enable cloud cover, pressure, rain, weather icons, wind, dense weather icons, means every one hour. Or if we do not want to have that dense images, we can deselect that one. Fill container is used to either shrink or expand the graphs. Diagnostics will show diagnostics. And length, we can select how many hours in advance we want to see data for. For example, max available. This is how it looks now. Let's click on save. And as you can see, we now have nice graph. Maybe this one is too dense, just give me a second. For the next two days, we have information about the temperature. This is yellow line here. Pressure, this blue line here. Rain information, if any. We have wind information, cloud coverage, sunny, partially sunny, cloudy and all for the next 48 hours. This is an awesome card. Remember, this is card, not an integration, so you will not be able to pull any values out of the card. You can just use it to display it on your UI. Especially if, for example, you have nice tablet on the wall, this is an awesome, awesome, awesome graph that you can have on, for example, half of the display. Once again, don't forget that if you do end up installing this card inside your Home Assistant to say thanks by at least hitting the star on the GitHub repository. The next card we will be installing today is this custom light card. It allows you to customize the light entity so that it's easier to control it, for example, on the mobile devices, touch screens, or even PCs where you can drag and drop the scale or the bar to control the intensity and the state of the light. Of course, you can just turn it on and off, but also if you need, you can click on the arrow and open this extra menu, the standard Home Assistant menu. As I said, this is a nice card if you want to customize how your lights look inside the UI. But enough talk, let's proceed with installation. This one, the card, is already part of the hex, so you do not need to go to GitHub repository, but actually you do because you do need to give it a star. Click on star to say thanks to the author. As I said, this component is part of the hex, so we will not be needing to do anything or copy anything. We just need to go to hex inside Home Assistant and search it there. Search for compact light card, click on it, click on download. The latest version of the card is version 0.5.2, download and just reload when asked to do so. That's it. Now let's go to overview, select wherever you want to add the card. I will be adding it to hex, scroll, click on add, type in compact for compact light card, and we are presented with the YAML configuration. Unfortunately, this is something that will need to be added in the future, but until that is added, we need to use YAML. And because we need to use YAML, let's look at what are the options. We have option to name it, primary color, secondary color. Do we want to enable glow, false or true? Icon border is true or false. Icon border color, card border, card border color and off colors. If you are switching between the light and the dark mode, for the off colors you can add light and dark version. And also for the shower action, you can add action URL. These are of course standard home assistant actions, more info, toggle, navigate, URL or something else. Let's customize this bed for the bed light. It is currently off. And if you want, we can add some other customizations. I've added glow to false. It can be also true. We've added primary color, secondary color, icon border is true. And card border is true. For example, we can change it to false. False. So we do not have any borders. And let's click on save. We can toggle the light on and off but we can also drag it to change the color intensity. We can turn it off, and if we press on this arrow, we will open the menu where we can do everything we would do with the normal light entity inside Home Assistant. Or if we enable border, it will look something like this. And this card will work awesome if you, for example, have tablet on the wall or are using mobile devices to control the lights, because you can easily click and drag to select the intensity of the light. And this is it for yet another Home Assistant Hacks video. 
I really do hope that you did find something interesting. Either this integration that will help you see how the climate is inside or outside your home, or one of these two cards. If you do install any of the cards, don't forget to say thanks to the authors. And by the way, if you are author of the component or you yourself have found an excellent component on the internet, don't forget to drop me down the link in the comment section below. And yes, if you did like this video, smash that like button because it really means a lot also to me. If you have any kind of comment, question or suggestion, you are more than welcome to leave it down in a comment section below. And as always, before I wrap up the video, it's time to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, shared, liked or commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and find something there. Last but not least, you can always send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.